Okay, we play a little game of if you only knew. I'm scared. What's the biggest risk you ever took? I suffer from Meniere's disease. It's an what? inner ear, a Meniere's. It's an inner ear vertigo, migraine. Oh my God, do you hear it? Do you hear Ringing, so ringing air and also vertigo. And I went um, para, paragliding. To me, that's the biggest risk I ever took. Because oh, yeah. that can bring it on. But I was like, if I don't experience this once in my life, Come on now. I mean, you would think it would be career, right? No, it was that. <laughs> Person you'd most like to meet, dead or alive? Oh, easy. That's so easy. Um, Leonard Bernstein. Not he, bad. Not bad, right? He wrote all my favorites, and I did, I'm did. i known for Candide, um, and I would love to thank him. Another revival of West Side Stories coming back to Broadway. Can't wait. And I'm really close. One of my best friends is Jessica Capshaw, and she's been telling me how just cool it looks. And, you know, her dad's directing it. And I'm just well, so, I'm so proud that he's doing a musical, you know? What keeps you up at night? Trying to wonder if I'm going to get it all in. Because you know me, Larry. I don't stay in one lane. I do TV movies, concerts. I do albums. I love, I love it all. Broadway, of course. Um, my schedule, like trying to keep it together. And uh, my dog, Thunder, named after the NBA, <laughs> the NBA basketball team. She keeps me up at night, too. Well, you, I imagine you're a fan of the Thunder. Oh, please. You know I'm devastated right now that we lost Russell. Mm. But he did it in a classy way, unlike somebody else who shouldn't be named. <laughs> Any artist we'd be surprised to learn is on your playlist. Who do you listen to? Eminem. That's a surprise. <laughs> I love him. I think he's a poet. I'd like to collaborate with him. Also, Kanye West. I like Kanye. Luxury you can't live without. Chapstick. Chapstick. I mean, it's not really luxury, but if I'm on a desert island, give me some chapstick. Favorite singer as a kid? Dolly Parton. A food you can't stand? Fish. Yeah, Anything I, from the sea. I hate fish, too. What? I hate eggs and fish. I don't know why. I didn't know this about you. Yeah, I don't I know. hate fish. Fish, yeah. Yuck. Ugh, the, tex the texture, the smell, and the taste. Correct, all kinds of fish. Thank you. Don't even give me from the sea. I don't want it. Superpower you wish you had? To fly. I'd like to be invisible. Oh, me too. What is Maybe I want to change my answer. What is something we should be paying more attention to? Homelessness in our own country. Proudest accomplishment. I grew up in a tiny town. We didn't have anything but Sonic and like high school football. But um, now we have a performing arts center and they named the theater the Kristen Chenoweth Performing Arts Center. Wow. And now I have a camp that I do every year around the Tonys and I have a school. I'm very proud of it. You ought to be. Thanks. Stuck on a deserted island, what three things would you like to have with you? Okay, well you know chapstick. Um, <laughs> I can't say water, can I? Because where would I get it? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so Bible. Um, because you know what? That'll also help me go to sleep. <laughs> Are you very religious? I'm spiritual. I'm spiritual. You know, I'm an LGBTQ activist and a Christian. And sometimes those don't, those don't always go together, Larry. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. But, um, yeah, I think the Bible, chapstick, and um, I can't say hair dye because who cares? Are you and a person. What? Another person. Why do you have different colored finger brushes? Oh, this one broke, so I made it ruby red slipper color. Jeez. I never said I wasn't unique. Guilty pleasure. <laughs> the Real Housewives of any county. Best advice you ever got? From my grandma, Grandma Chinny. She said, because she's a very religious Southern Baptist lady, and I was struggling with, like, why everyone hates the gays. I couldn't understand it. She said, well, Kristen, I eat the Bible. I read the Bible like I eat fish. I take the meat that serves me well, but I don't choke on a bone. I get it. Strangest job you ever had? Singing telegram for a guy that had a vasectomy, and I had to sing You've Lost That Love and Feeling. <laughs> really? As little Bo Peep. <laughs> it's so it's so embarrassing. I can't believe I did it. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.